Hey guys, it's uh, John here from InfoHut again. Now uh, today's test is an iPhone 7 waterproof test. So let's get started. First up, this is the iPhone 7 Plus. So um, everything's exactly the same with the uh, seals on the actual iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Uh, both are pretty much identical except for the uh, rear camera. So here goes. Now this is just, uh, I would say probably the water temperature is about uh, 18 degrees Celsius. So it's not hot, not cold exactly. Now um, from what the IP, I think 67 standard says is that it can uh, last under water for about 30 minutes in fresh water. And uh, Apple has labeled this as uh, splash proof and uh, water resistance so so according to the standards i'll put that at the end and in the description what it means exactly and um, there'll be more of an explanation so as you can see it still takes calls uh, i'm calling from my home number obviously now uh, uh it's pretty hard to actually try to answer a call but um you'll see that the phone it does still vibrate uh, the touch capacitor is actually hard to uh, operate due to the fact that I've got gloves on so I'm trying to um, you know, push it in a way that it does work. Uh, with fingers it actually does work uh, uh, but obviously when you do get it in water the last thing you want to be doing is um, going through your menus and, and stuff like that. So, so as you can see there is no visible uh signs of actual uh, water going through you can see me rubbing off uh, things at the top as i could see actual bubbles i thought that might have been something under the screen but it's just actual bubbles on the outside um, in the way it went in so it's very very stable as i thought apple would make it and um, you have to do remember that apple are mass producing this item so they have to take into account a lot of the the worst case scenarios to avoid any type of backlash. Now, um, what I'm going to do is further on, as I did realize that most situations where people do get water damage is the occasion where they do drop it in a pool, uh, you know, and they quickly pull it out, or on most occasion it's stuff like drinks uh, wine and uh, soda and uh, coffee that does get spilt on there so what i've noticed is is that from previous phones i have seen that do have damage from uh, liquid is that uh, stuff like soda it's very uh, sugary and uh, it creates like a syrup on the inside so what i'm going to do is get some fanta and uh, just pour a bit. I have diluted it obviously with this water, so it's not gonna be as sticky as possibly, you know, uh, spilling a glass on there, but, but saying that, I doubt that most people will be submerging their phones for as long as, uh, you know, I have now. So uh, we'll just pour some in. Now, unfortunately, I need to change the settings on actually uh, making the screen not dim. So it doesn't mean it's turned off. And, uh, you know, it it's actually seeming fine. There's no leaks in the screen from what I can see. And uh, everything seems pretty normal. There we go, I've just quickly fixed it. So now the next step is, I'm gonna put a bit of water and uh, I am putting obviously some uh, hot coffee. It's actually a bit of uh, black uh, espresso with a, a little bit of milk. So uh, the thing is it is actually hot from the kettle. So uh, it is a bit diluted and you'll see that in the, uh, the pool.
And as I'm pouring hot coffee on there, there's no distortion. Not even the touch screen is going crazy. I mean, I thought the heat would make a bit of a difference. So uh, as much as I'd like to try it, I don't think it's really necessary to try and boil a phone. Uh, I, I doubt that people will be wanting to, um, you know, totally submerse their phone in hot water. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty confident that it will take at least splashes from coffee. And now for the drying time. So I'm just doing a, a normal dry as, per, as I guess most of us do when we do uh, get liquid on our phone. Uh, please note, Apple do have specific instructions uh, for the device if you do need, you know, if you do actually get it wet. Now, uh, in this video, I actually took the phone away and uh, uh, put it under running water. And it's just a bit, bit mind-blowing when you actually get a brand new phone and, and put it under running water. But as you can see, everything looks fine. There's no uh, colorings where you can see leaks going in. And as I open it, uh, I did notice, and I'll show you there, you see there's all these seals around it and the seals are tight. I mean, it's something that you have to slowly go around and then pull off without actually bending the LCD. And uh, it almost feels like it's vacuum uh, vacuum sealed closed, but it's more so just the stickiness of these uh, water seals. They do look almost identical to the iPhone 6, and um, obviously, oh sorry, the iPhone 6S, and obviously, uh, you know, with the 7, they've they've gone into you know more improvement with the, the bottom speaker area and the charging part with uh, with sealing it. Now this is the amazing part. As you can see, there is no leak whatsoever. That that phone was submerged in water for a while. I mean, they do say it is water resistant, uh, more so splash resistant. But once again, Apple have made an excellent product where they have, um, you know designed it perfectly and uh, I, I'm really impressed that I was expecting to see at least some little water water leak but but that's amazing so uh, that's the uh, end of this part uh, if you look on the next videos I'm going to show you the tear down of the screens and the rest of the parts so um, thanks again for watching please subscribe and uh, if you do have any questions drop a comment below thanks